Welcome to another Simply Answers Tips and Tricks video. This one's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Um, basically, we're going to cover some of the, the Apple Computer Mac 101 type stuff. So if you're a PC switcher and you're kind of unfamiliar to a lot of the jargon and stuff um, that Mac users use, hopefully this will help you out and kind of get you on the right track. So the first thing you see here right in front of you is just the standard Apple you know, display, the desktop, this is the first thing you boot into, so um, you better get acclimated to it because this is pretty much what you're always going to see. So a lot of PC users get very familiar with the start menu, um, unless you're a Windows 8 user. Um, Windows 7 and prior, um, the, the start menu was kind of where you lived and died on a PC. And that would be very similar to this right here. This is the dock. So the dock is where all your home programs and all your primary programs are going to go. You can change it, you can tweak it, you can add programs, remove programs, customize it um, to kind of however you want and however you see fit. Um, and that's the cool thing about the dock. You can hide it, whatever. But that's what this is here. They, it's called the dock. Um, it's very straightforward. So if you want to open a program, you know, of course, just click on it. You just got to have to click once and I'll go open up the, uh, the program um, right there. And that's the dock. A secondary way you can get at it too is a new feature with the Mac OS called a Launchpad. So if you click on Launchpad, they'll kind of bring you up this iPad view of applications and this will allow you to see all the programs that you have on your computer and that you use. So that's really kind of the two ways similar to the start menu uh, on a PC that you can get to programs on a Mac. Now something that's very elementary that is kind of funky for people at first, and this is really Mac 101 stuff, I mean even Computer 101, is when you're within an application, everybody's familiar with PCs of closing, minimizing, and maximizing on the top right hand corner of the window. On a Mac it's inverted, it's on the top left hand corner. So the close, you got the little red dot with the X, minimize, and the plus. The plus is more of a fit button, it's not really a maximize button. Um, if you want to go full screen with your applications, you just come again to the top right hand corner, you'll see the arrow, you click on that, and that will take you to full screen application mode. So that's very simple stuff, but for PC switchers, it can be kind of funky at first, so pay attention to that. Another thing people are very familiar with on a PC is the whole My Computer icon. Um, this is where you know usually you can dig into the files of your computer quite a bit, look through documents, you know, downloads the whole night. It can all be done through my computer. With a Mac, again, just go down to your dock. And with us, it's called a finder. So go ahead and click on that. And this will pull up everything that you've got going on um, on your computer. This is where you find everything. So whether you want to look through your applications, your documents, your downloads, whatever. You can use Finder to basically replace the My Computer aspect of a PC. One of the best parts of switching to a Mac is getting rid of the control panel, which is what PCs have to kind of alter and change the settings of the computer. So what Apple has for a control panel is it's called System Preferences. Let's go ahead and we'll click on this. And this is System Preferences. It's, it's a lot less cluttered than the control panel on a PC. You have things broken down in categories. You have personal, hardware, internet and wireless, system, and other. And you just got to think, okay, so I want to you know, change my desktop. Um, you can go into personal, and then there it is, desktop and screensaver. Or if you just kind of want to type in whatever it is you're looking for, maybe you want to change your wallpaper, you can see it will start narrowing down things until it finds what you need, and then it will highlight what you want. So that's the, another great thing about a Mac over a PC is system preferences. Now with a lot of uh, PC switchers, they kind of get lost in the whole email space, whether that would be um, having their going directly to a browser and to go to Yahoo or Hotmail or Gmail to find their email, or they maybe they have Outlook um, and they're kind of switching from that. Of course you can get out, uh, Outlook for Mac, um, but Apple comes with a program called Mail. You just got to click on it to open. So this would be kind of their own version of Outlook. It's already built into the computer. And it's very straightforward. Just enter in your email address and password, then you'd click continue. Then mail will go to the server for the email that you use and automatically set it up. So no longer do you have to log in to a browser, you know, go to yahoo.com and log in. You just click on mail and all your mail will be there. You can also set it up through system preferences and mail contacts and calendars. See, here's all the different emails. 
of course, you can set up Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. Once you set that up, it will again set everything up for you and you'll be good to go. And that's a great thing about mail. Now another uh, pretty elementary thing about Apple is a lot of people, <laughs> they don't think you can right click or secondary click. It may not be turned on by def default, but if you want to turn that on, which most people do, you just go into system preferences. And depending on what you're using, whether it's a mouse or a trackpad, you'll go into one or the other. I'm using a trackpad, so I'll click on that. And you see right here, it's just under the point and click section, under secondary click, and you just need to make sure that box is turned on to make sure that that's turned on. And then it'll, you can designate how it works. And really the last thing, um, probably for kind of a Mac 101 getting you started, um, is Spotlight. Spotlight's great. It will search your entire computer, um, whether you're looking for a photo, a file, or a document, just type it in in Spotlight and the computer will find it for you. It'll just pull up all the results and it works great, and very straightforward, very simple, and it's awesome. So uh, Spotlight, use it, love it, um, and just go ahead and you know give it a shot. I use it all the time. So that pretty much covers a lot of the basics um, if you're switching from a PC to a Mac. Um, hopefully this kind of gets you um, some of the terminology down, get you figuring out what's going on, um, you know, whether it's the start menu or the dock or my computer versus finder, um, any, any of that stuff. Hopefully this kind of helps clarify a lot of that stuff for you and let you see what we're talking about. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Just give us an email, customer service at simplymac.com. You can message us on Facebook, just facebook.com slash simplymac. Or you can tweet at us on Twitter, just at simplymacstore all one word, um, and we'll be happy to address any questions or concerns for you. So hopefully you join us next time when we cover some more cool Apple topics and tips.